Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to our first video of 2024. So happy new year. I'm so glad you're here. Today's video is a good one. I'm looking to the side of me. I got some home finds, some beauty finds and Walmart got the memo when it comes to their color palette, their scents. I have some diffusers, some room spray candles, fashion. There is a lot to get into today. So everything's gonna be listed below in the description box as well as over on the pinned comment. So let's get into it. And we're starting out with an oldie but a goodie. This is the towel tumbler at Walmart. They have updated this tumbler a little bit and now it comes in new colors. I had to pick up this taupe. This is just the perfect neutral color. If you are looking at the Stanley Cups or any of the more expensive tumblers, this is a great and expensive option. It's definitely a dupe for that. This is 40 ounces, so it's the same size as the Stanley. You do have the handle. It's double insulated on the inside. This one does have a screw top and it also has an additional spout. It does come with the straw. But what I really like about this that the Stanley doesn't have is this little rubber bottom here. So it's not as harsh whenever you put it down. I feel like my Stanley is loud anytime I put mine down. This also comes in other great colors, including a tonal black. It has kind of a tone on tone um, checkered print look. So I do have my eye on that one. This is under $20, so that is less than half the price of the Stanley. I'm on a huge fragrance kick right now, so I was excited to find these at Walmart. These are both of Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth perfumes. The pink one here is the original, which it smells really good, but it's just a bonus that the packaging is absolutely adorable. It does have this chocolate bar look. So what this fragrance smells like is marshmallow, sweet vanilla. They're saying there's hints of chocolate in this, but I'm really getting vanilla. So if you like marshmallow perfumes, if you like the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume, the Ari perfume, I think you're gonna really like the pink packaging. Again, that's the original. And then she also has the Caramel Dream. This is gonna be for you if you like sweet fragrances, but you want a little bit of musk to them. This one does have sandalwood. It has that caramelized ginger and just a hint of patchouli. I personally don't like patchouli and it wouldn't keep me from wearing this. It is very, very faint, but it still has that sweet scent. Also has that great packaging. And neither one of these are very intense. They're not too overpowering, so I wouldn't be worried about that. I'm actually wearing the Caramel Dream right now. And as soon as I saw the packaging, I thought this would be perfect for a little Valentine's gift. Stick this in an Easter basket. These are cute. And speaking of Valentine's Day, when I saw this heart little bomber jacket, I had to pick it up. This is from No Boundaries, so I always size one up. Keep that in mind. But this is a kind of teddy style. It's definitely a crop style. It has these functional pockets in the front. It is a zip up style. I think this is a great way to wear the heart trend. So yes, we have Valentine's coming up, but hearts are trending. They're going to be here past Valentine's Day. I could see myself wearing this with a tank top and jeans or throwing this on just over an athletic outfit to head to the gym. I think this is a really good find at under $20. You would see novelty jackets like this, which this is novelty done well, easily be in the three digit price range. This one's under $20. And if hearts aren't your thing, it does also come in this light tan color. I think it's so pretty and it's lined also, by the way, No Boundaries doesn't always do line jackets, so I think that's a plus. I would describe this as a lightweight layer too. This is not gonna be a heavy jacket. For under $20, this is such a good find. And something for the kitchen, I think these mugs are so pretty. They remind me a lot of Anthropology. so much so that I'm like, did Walmart steal Anthropology's lead designer? I mean, you guys, it's so pretty. So it does have a retro floral print, a gold foil handle, same thing on the lip of this. So I wouldn't put this in the microwave, like all gold foil, but this is a beautiful mug. It's also a really big mug. This is a 16 ounce capacity. You could obviously buy this just as a one-off as your new favorite mug, but I did want to set so I could put this out on my coffee bar. These are from the brand Time and Table, by the way, and they're $5. I'm looking it up right now, and similar floral mugs on Anthropology are around three times the price, so I think I did pretty good on these. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to the sweatshirt that I have on. This is also from No Boundaries. It is so soft. It has already that lived in your favorite sweatshirt feel as soon as you get it in. It's lightly fleece lined and it does have this washed look. So it does have this intentional kind of striation in it. 
a drop shoulder and this one is oversized on me because I did size up a few to a large. This does come in a few other colors. I would have it in any of the color options, including a light lavender that I'm seeing everywhere, which if we're already seeing it, I would definitely expect to see it throughout the spring. And speaking of loungewear, Walmart has dropped their Scoob Scuba line, which if you're not familiar with this line, it's their loungewear that is buttery soft. Think like Spanx Air Essentials quality. It is really, really nice. Always one of the first things to sell out and it comes in a lot of different options from crew necks, there's hoodies, there's funnel necks, you got joggers, wide leg pants, always quick to go though. So I will have that linked below. And my next items are new to me, but they are already a fan favorite. This is Body by TPH, which is from the actress Taraji P. Henson. This is such a well thought out line. First of all, y'all know me, so I already love the packaging, but I like how all of the lighter color bottles Think about these products more for your daytime use. So what I have here is the hydrating daily body lotion. And then you can think about the chocolate brown bottles as more of your unwind, relaxing products. I do have the body wash here that smells like lavender and chamomile, just all of the things that you want to enjoy as you're relaxing and washing off the day. And then the taupe color bottles are gonna be more of those exfoliators, oils, things like that. So what I have here is the Buffed Baby Body Polish, which does have lactic acid, which actually all of her products do have active ingredients. This is one that I would keep in your shower. And then also this body butter. This is probably my favorite product out of the line so far. It smells incredible. It is thick. This is what you are gonna want to end your day, putting on your heels, putting on any dry areas you have on your skin. And both of these are vanilla and tuberose. So think more of a fresh vanilla. These feel like very luxury products. I mean, the packaging, the fragrance, everything, these start at under $10. Drew Barrymore has done it again. I have liked everything that I've seen so far from her beautiful line. And in keeping with our heart theme that we unintentionally have going in today's video is this cast iron heart Dutch oven. That's what they're calling it, is a two quart Dutch oven. It has an enamel coating on the inside. It comes in this really cute light pink color, but it's also available in black and a really beautiful wine color. This is one that I would have in any color you can get your hands on. The William Sonoma version is around $165, I think. So no surprise that this one is going viral and selling out quickly. And if you didn't know, Sofia Vergara does have an active line at Walmart and her new pieces dropped within the last couple of weeks. So I did pick up um, a new color in my favorite yoga pants from her. So this is charcoal. I have them in black, but they also come in a few other color options. I get these just in my typical size, but what I like about these is the fabric has a great feel to it. It does have this nice wide waistband and it is a flare style. So I think she's calling this a flare legging. I never know, are we calling this a flare legging? a yoga pant. Y'all let me know below in the comments, but these do have a 32 inch inseam. I quite like them and they're under $20. And to go with that, I did pick up new from her line is this long sleeve top that I'm going to wear. I recently joined a Pilates gym. We're testing it out, people. We're seeing how it's going to go. And this kind of looked like something that one might Pilates in. But what I like about it is it does have this twist detail in the back. So I'm just gonna wear this with a sports bra, but they also showed this for just lounging around with a bralette if you wanted. Another one that does come in a couple of other color options and is really soft. And a repeat purchase for me. I was so happy to see these No Boundary sweatpants are back. They were available, I believe in the fall and gray, and now you can get them in black. These are $14. They have a light fleece lining, a drawstring. They have functional cargo pockets on the side, but what's really cool about these is you can cinch them up and wear them like a jogger style, or you can leave it undone and wear it as a wide leg pant. So you are getting a two in one. I think these run big. So typically in no boundaries, I would suggest sizing one up, but this one I do have in a small. I know I keep bragging on Walmart's packaging, but I don't know who they got a hold of. Everything has been elevated in my opinion. So I did pick up these candles and room sprays. These are sold separately. They do come in a variety of options. I did pick up three of the fragrances so I could show them, but they come in a purple version, a black, there's a blue. So whatever your scent preferences or your color preferences, Walmart probably has something. And this is from the All's Well brand. I mean, look at the frosted packaging on the candle. This is a two wick candle, by the way. And this is a 15 ounce candle for around $13. 
The white one here is the Calm. This is the Coconut, Citrus, and Amber. And then the sprays are around $7, I believe. They're, they're a room spray, which is awesome, but they're also a linen spray. I've been spraying my curtains with these, so don't think about just spraying them in your room, but you totally can. And then the more brown packaging here is the Embrace. This is the vanilla and almond. It smells so good. And the pink one here is a vanilla, pear, and coconut. They smell incredible. The packaging is 100% this is, might be my pick of the entire video. I'm gonna stand up for these next couple of items. They are PJs from Joy Spun. This, in my opinion, is novelty done well. And besides the cami style, they do have a button with a sleeve, but this one here is a two-piece set. The straps are adjustable. You have these shorts that have an elastic at the waist and this little ruffle on the bottom in just the cutest little cherry print. Cherry is huge right now. We actually did an entire roundup of our budget-friendly cherry picks that I will link below. But I just saw that Skims is getting ready to drop their newest launch and it is all cherry themed. I mean, this is very, very trendy and the fabric on these feels really great. It has a little spandex in it. So I did pick up the exact same PJ set in this black heart version that I'm gonna wear with my Joy Spun robe. I have several of these. They are some of my favorite robes. This is a short style robe. It also has a short sleeve. You do have that matching belt. This is gonna be a more lightweight robe. It's gonna be great as we're heading into the warmer months. And this is also my preferred robe to take when traveling. So I can have just a little something to put on in my hotel room. Both the PJ set and robe are $13 each. All right, and me and everyone else trying to get my life organized, cleaning out all my junk drawers, and I have recently tackled all of my beauty, and I've been using the Home Edit, their organizers. I love their organizers. So for my beauty, which I'll show you guys what it looks like in the drawer, I did recently buy the 10 pack that is smaller beauty compartments, think for your bathroom, but I actually have several packs over here that I keep in my office. So you can use these acrylic drawer organizers for anything. But what I really like is now you are able to buy these also in two packs. So as I've been working on my drawers, I did realize that I needed more of the longer ones and I was able to get the size that I needed. So something to just keep in mind, you don't have to buy these in the multi-packs. And then I recently picked up the Home Edits hair organizing set. So you are getting this large acrylic tray and this silicone heat resistant mat. This does hold three different hot tools. I wanted the tray for the inside of one of my drawers. So the acrylic tray is actually too big for that, but I'm just gonna use this under my sink or really for anything. It does have handles too, it's just covered up right now. I think all of these are great. A lot of these same sizes are available in bamboo drawer organizers, um, very reasonably priced as far as acrylic organizers can go. I believe the price for the individual starts at around 550. And since I've just been in the mood to redo all my drawers, I recently organized my kitchen towel drawer, which makes me feel like a proper adult. And let me tell you, Walmart has some Williams Sonoma quality hand towels from their Better Homes and Garden line. So I did get two different three packs. This is one of them right here. That's a stripe set. And then it came with some solids. And then Better Homes and Gardens also has it in this great neutral color and more of a waffle weave. And this was also a three pack. And then I finished off the drawer with the mainstay flower sack towels. I think these have gone in every Walmart favorites video I've ever done. These come in a 10 pack and are less than a dollar a piece and the three packs start at around eight to $10. And continuing in the kitchen are these camp mugs. I think they're so pretty. First of all, the color is definitely hitting peach fuzz, which is Pantone's color of the year. They're also an iridescent style, which has been really popular from their mermaid core trend to a lot of the high-end designers have different iridescent handbags. So something that you're gonna be seeing more of in 2024. I think they're so pretty that I just wanna put my fruit water to my hot tea in them. And they have quite a large capacity. This is another one that's a 16 ounce mug. And the feel of these is not quite plastic, but it's not glass either. So think kind of like a shatterproof glass, something in between glass and plastic. They're also available in a clear iridescent and they're around $4. And I wasn't sure what to expect when I ordered these bookends. These are from Better Homes and Gardens and they're around $14. The black on this is a black metal 
metal and the bottom also has felt so it's not going to scratch on any of your furniture and then it has this great natural rattan look this is something that i would expect to see in a more luxury home store so i was so excited to see these at walmart i think these are pretty nice quality and i like the arch on these that's very on trend right now and they do have a decent weight to them some of the bookends that i bought before can't even keep a book up that's not going to be a problem with this one and speaking of arches, I picked up this fantastic rug at Walmart, another one that I wasn't sure what to expect, but it is perfect. I've recently redone my closet, so I have the rug in there. It's a five by seven, so it's a great size, and it has this tone on tone arch pattern. I think this can work in a lot of different spaces. It's only available in the one size, but it's under $100. I think it's around $90. It has a low pile, which is really nice for when it comes to vacuuming. I'm also not sure if the footage is gonna quite pick up on the color right, but it's not stark white. This is definitely an off-white, but a really good find. All right, next are these carpenter jeans from No Boundaries. I ordered these purely because of the color. It can be difficult on a budget to find this color pant, so I was very excited. I can see myself wearing this with sweaters as we are transitioning into warmer weather and then wearing these throughout the summer. These are under $18. They have a great price, and these are 98% cotton and 2% span, so they definitely have a little stretch to it and they feel like denim. And why these are considered a carpenter style is they have these little details, like this is actually a hammer loop, not that you have to put your hammer in it. So it also has this little pocket detail here in the back. I think these are fantastic. They do have number sizing. I have this here in a size five. I liked them so much that I also went ahead and got them in black. And these do have a 32 inch inseam online. They look cropped, but they are not. This is gonna be a full length pant. And it's not a wide leg, but it's not tapered either. This is more of a true straight leg. But it's also available in that trendy lavender color that I mentioned earlier. All right, and we are on to my last item. As you guys can see, it's this diffuser. But before we get into it, let's go ahead and make today's secret emoji be the nose emoji. Since we've had so many great scents in today's video, can you tell that it's part of my new year that I just want everything to smell so good all around me. So leave the nose emoji for me below so I know you stuck it out with me throughout the video. And actually, I would love to know what your favorite scent is. So put that below. So I picked up this oil diffuser. Better Homes and Gardens has a lot of really pretty ones that are gonna match whatever your decor is. But I just really liked this white one. It kind of looks like a modern take on the ceramic diffuser and it's a really good size. This has a pretty small footprint. So the diffuser itself does come with two tester size essential oils. But if you were gonna give this for gift giving, what I would recommend doing instead is go ahead and take this out of the packaging and instead pair it with the full size size essential oils. Again, the packaging on this is just phenomenal. It looks so pretty. So I would go ahead and pair the full size with the diffuser and this would be great for an upcoming birthday or a little housewarming gift. I would be personally thrilled to receive that. All right, and that does wrap up today's Walmart favorites video. So everything is gonna be listed below in the description box if you wanna check any of these out. But let's chat for a second. Walmart spring and even summer is already dropping. I was walking my local Walmart a couple of weeks ago and swimwear was already dropping. I don't know how to take this. Are we into it? Y'all let me know below. I'm headed to Florida next month, so I guess I'm gonna start diving in on all of this, but this is about a month earlier than it has dropped in the past. So you guys let me know below. Are we ready for warm weather styles? Are we, do we still have our Christmas tree up and we can't even think about it? Let's vote below because I'm unsure how to take this. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see y'all in the next one.